39 degrees Fahrenheit, not a very cold day, but it's the day that I have, so I will make the most of it. Well, today's adventure, I'm back out with a somewhat heavy load again. I'm bringing my three season bag today since it's so warm and I will be setting up the I'll be setting up the Ridge Runner hammock with the Spindrift sock which is new and uh, this will be the first time out in the field with it. So let's see what happens. As I said before it's not very cold today but I am going to try out the pad the sleep pad and my and my three season bag and see how it does should be okay not very cold but the reservoir is still frozen over only takes minutes to set up once everything is basically pre-assembled you just leave the sock over the hammock put everything in the stuff sack and then when you go to put it on uh, put it up the only thing you really have to do is attach the, the crossbars on either end I've unhooked the continuous loop from the ends of the dog bones here and just run them through a carabiner. So the dog bones running through the carabiner seems to be doing okay. And the carabiner is attached to the suspension strap with one of those Barlin pike hitches. I got the version here that has the zipper for the sleep pad. So I'm going to insert that now. The sleep pad has a tendency to want to stay curled, so what I do is I fold it lengthwise in kind of a V-shape. I just try to fold it lengthwise like that and then slide it on its side into the cavern in there between the two layers of the hammock. And that gets it down to the other end and then I'm able to smooth it out afterwards. Okay, we're in. Now the sleeping bag, which will go inside there. This is a right hand zip bag, so I'm going to set it up so that I enter and exit through this side of the hammock and, this, and the sock. And there's this bit of elastic here that holds the sock up off of you. And I just attach it up here to the end of the dog bone. Seems to do the job all right. Well, I managed to make it in. <laughs> I'm in the sleeping bag. For the most part, it's okay. Oh, this feels all right. Just laying here like this. Slightly breezy out, but uh, I am feeling some airflow inside here. Oh, <laughs> I see it right behind me is the slit, the zipper. Where is it? Right behind me is the, the zipper for the uh, sleep pad, and I forgot to close it. So I will attempt to do so from the inside, and then we will see if I still feel a breeze. <laughs> okay, all zipped up, and that definitely cut down on the breeze a bit. Right in the corner, you could see some daylight. That's where the the strap from the hammock passes through, so I'm imagining it's going to be like that on all four corners. Which I guess is good to know that you're going to get some airflow. <laughs> you don't want to suffocate in here on a cold winter's night when you're all bundled up and everything zipped up tight. And the material is slightly, what is it, translucent. You can see through it. That's the tree on the foot end right there. By the way, this is what they call uh, olive brown, which looks like coyote brown to me, but um, this is olive, olive green, the hammock. I guess that's good though, because I can kind of see out right through the material. So if somebody's approaching, uh, at least I can see a shape. So I'll have an idea of what it was. It was a Sasquatch, I swear. It was at least five feet tall and had arms and legs and, and carrying a Budweiser. Only a Sasquatch would do that. Yeah must be. This is the thin sliver of material directly overhead when I'm laying in it uh, with the zippers part way down on either side so I have excellent visibility of both sides and a lot of airflow if I need it. If I need it. Look 
basket, all that trash. People just pick up your trash and take it out with you. When it was full, you, you could carry it in. Why can't you carry it out empty? At this point, the only suggestion that I could think of to make for the improvement of the sock here, the spindrift sock, is maybe a, a see-through window on the side that you could just like flap a cover up over it if you didn't want to use it. But Because, um, yeah, these are zipped up. But I want to look outside, but I also want to hold in the heat. So, But that's not too big of a deal. On the inside here are these little rings where you can run another ridge line from end to end on the inside if you feel you need it. There's one on the bottom end too. Well, the breeze has started to pick up. I really wouldn't have noticed it if it weren't for the noise. And I do feel a little bit of air moving around in here, but it's certainly not nearly as bad as it would feel if I was outside and exposed to it in its full fury. Well, I've been laying here a good hour, and I have to say this is a lot more comfortable than a gathered end hammock. So far, no pressure points. Um, like anything, you have to get used to it to get the most comfort out of it. But so far, it's very promising. I'm looking forward to using it more.